What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different from what I normally do. Still in the same realm of ROM hacks, but today I'm going to be making a tier list for Pokemon ROM hacks, but more specifically the Game Boy and Game Boy Color ROM hacks, because if I included Game Boy Advance, there would be way too many. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave those out, maybe do this for a separate video, because there are just way too many ROM hacks out there. Even with Game Boy and Game Boy Color, this is not going to have every single one on there. There's just, there's too many. Some of them you can't even find, like, any information on, so... I'm trying to include all of the big ones, the ones that I've played, things that I at least know a lot about, so this is obviously my own opinion, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we are going to start things off pretty strong here with Crystal Clear. I think I can safely put that in the S category here. So I'm not going to go over all of the specifics of the games, I've made videos on some of them, but not all of them, but just to summarize, this maybe is like the best quality of life crystal out there. You really get to pick what you want to do and go in any order you want. Not really much in the way of story, but you can literally play through Crystal in any gym order you want. Everything's leveled and scaled perfectly. It's just, it's an honestly perfect game. Honestly perfect, so I'm raising the bar. It, it's, it's very high here, S, S tier. I do reserve the right to change my ranks as we go, but I don't think I'm going to be doing too much of that. Now, moving on, we've got Orange Island Adventures for the Game Boy. This is honestly not the one that pops up when you search Orange Islands. This is, like, really hard to come by. I'm going to drop it and see for right now. It is an incomplete hack. I'm not going to put anything in F. I didn't want to have an F tier. Nothing is going to be an F tier. But I'm not going to say D because there's definitely effort put into this game. It was, it was fun. It was buggy as all hell and incomplete. Um, the leveling was just insane, but I still had a fun time. It's incomplete. I think there was a lot of promise there, a lot of potential, but ultimately they, they didn't finish it. So it, it's going to go D actually. I'm going to make it D. You know, again, I don't hate the game. I played it. I enjoyed it. Maybe one day someone will complete it, but Orange Islands, we'll go ahead and move on to the next Orange Islands, which is the now crystal version of it. This is the crystal variant of Orange Islands pretty good i'm not gonna lie it is pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and drop that in a tier it's everything that this one should have been except in gen 2 graphics it, it looks phenomenal it's hard not to look phenomenal in the gen 2 sprites so that's neither here nor there though but yes this is definitely everything that this one should have been i mean it just it looks phenomenal it's the orange island games that's the best one there's a game boy advance one i haven't played that one but this one is where it's at 100 percent now we've got Pokemon Brown version here. This is the first ROM hack I ever played. This thrusted me into the world of ROM hacking when I was very, very young. Uh, very, very nostalgic, super duper fun game. I don't know what all they had whenever I was playing it. I didn't beat it back when I first played it, but now it at least has like all of these Gen 4, you know, extender evolutions in there. And it's a whole brand new region. That was blowing my mind was being able to play just basically a brand new Pokemon game. For all intents and purposes, it was. And it was super, super fun. It's only gotten better over the years. It's obviously a complete hack now. Not perfect, so I am going to go ahead and put it in A. But if we are talking about perfect, let's go ahead and grab Pokemon Prism here. I'll also throw this one up in S. Now, me personally, I know the screen is going to say otherwise, but I do think I like brown a little bit more. Made by the same person. Phenomenal hacks. I just think it's because I played Brown more. It's a little bit more nostalgic to me, but obviously Prism is the superior game. Crystal version hack, it's it's fantastic. It lets you actually play as the Pokemon at least a couple of times. Very innovative. It's everything that I think the Gen 2 games could have been had they just continued on the Game Boy path and, and not upgraded to Game Boy Advance. Like the certain features and things that it adds, it's just quality, quality, quality ROM hack. Now we've got a bit of a twofer here. I couldn't find a good picture for the blue version, but this this is technically going to be two games here, but this is red and blue DX version, so colorized. Basically what it is, it's a, a colorized version of the original Gen 1 games for red and blue. Honestly, pretty cool. It, it makes the games essentially play in the Gen 2 uh, versions. What's really cool, though, is you actually get the option to view them as Gen 1 sprites or Gen 2 sprites. So honestly, it doesn't, like change too much it's a pretty simple hack that's why i'm gonna go ahead and give them b nothing's inherently wrong with it i want to put it in a but i do feel like we need some some spread here 
So unfortunately, I'm going to put it in B. Nothing, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the hack. It's a great hack. Both of them are super awesome. It's fun to play through those Gen 1 games with color. It's honestly really, really cool. So I definitely think you guys should check that out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop it in B there. Now we got another two for here. We've got Pokemon Super Gold and Super Silver 97. I'm going to lump, I guess this is honestly a four for, I'm going to lump all of them in there. There's the Super Silver and Super Gold 97 and then the Reforged variants. They're all kind of the same game. I feel a little bad clumping them all together, but respectively they are kind of all the same game, just quality of life improvements between the two. It's a kind of player preference, which one you like, but yeah, so this is kind of a four for one, but they're all going to be an S tier. This is the Gen 2 hack that we almost got, but didn't. Or sorry, I shouldn't say hack, the Gen 2 game that we almost got, but didn't. So this is obviously the Space World demo. I just did a video on these games pretty recently, but they're there, oh, I mean, I know I said Crystal Clear was the best hack, and honestly, I probably said Prism was the best hack, but th this is everything that I needed. It, it adds authentic, actual, real Pokemon that we never got. You know, some Pokemon that add fake Pokemon games, or sorry, some Pokemon games that add fake Pokemon, you can tell that they're fake Pokemon. But this is, this is all legit stuff that people finally were able to create into an actual full-fledged game. So that is freaking awesome. That's why that's going to go in the S-tier category there. And now it is spooky season. We've got Pokemon Black or Creepy Black. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in the C. It, it's a gimmick. It's That's what it is. I've technically not played that. i got to be up front. I've not played it, but it is based off the creepy pasta. If you've ever heard or watched a video, read it, whatever. It's a mid-tier creepy pasta. It's no Slender Man. But, I mean, it was fun when I read about it, but, like, it just... It's a gimmick, you know, if you've played it, you've played it once, and you never need to play it again. And again, I know I've never played it, so that's coming from somebody who's never played it, but I, I don't see any reason that this needs to be B, A, S, you know. I think C's fine. It's cool that somebody made this into a real hack, you know, from Creepypasta to real life, but eh, it, it's C. I'm sorry, but it's C. All right, now we've got Pink Version, the maybe lost hidden secret Pokemon game? Uh, that's apparently a, a rumor that I'd actually never heard. Apparently it was maybe a pink game, but I, I think that's been debunked. That's neither here nor there. We've got Pokemon Pink version. It's pretty simple. Basically, you play through the normal Gen 1 games that you normally would, but you get to play as a girl, and you get a different starter. And I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, I think there is now a color variant, a crystal mod of this that's like the new version of pink. I've not played that. I've just played, I think, the blue or red hack I can't remember which one it's a hack of but it's nice you get to actually play as a girl like I said they take the Chris Sprite from the Gen 2 games put it in there I believe of course you get Jigglypuff as a starter I think even the crystal version maybe added fairy type I, I don't know if the Gen 1 versions did it's been so long since I played it but yeah so it's 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 pretty simple I, there's not too much to say about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in B along with the DX color ones it's cool it's nice to represent the pink side of things, I guess, uh, the fairy side of things. So I do like it. It's going to be B, not quite A. We'll go ahead and go B. Now, if you guys like a bit of a challenge, there is Crystal Kaizo, another crystal hack, another Gen 2 hack. These Kaizo ones, they're not really for me. I don't. I, I like a challenge, but I don't like to hate myself while playing the Pokemon games. Uh, and this is something that I would hate myself if I kept playing these Kaizo games. They're super hard. There's so many Kaizo ones out there. Um, nothing inherently wrong. I'll go ahead and put it in A, even though I maybe say, I would just maybe say B, but I'll go ahead and drop it in A for now. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of quality of life, a lot of technical, you know, special stats, splits, things like that, if you're into all of that. So, again, nothing wrong with it, but nothing phenomenal to make it S tier, in my opinion. So, if you want a hard experience, play Crystal Kaizo. <laughs> okay. So I debated even putting this on here, but we, we've we got Pokemon Cock version. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it is Pokemon Cock version. There's a good chance if you are in the ROM hack space, uh, you've probably seen this, you've maybe played this. It's it's exactly what you think it would be. It's stupid. It's just kind of like, you know, these ones that are like pink. It's the same red story that you're going through. It's just, like, I guess, adult themes, adult jokes, just stupid profanity. Eh, nothing of, of of quality there, in my opinion. Like, it's funny inherently. It is kind of funny that that exists. I see people like, what is this? Is this a real game? But no, it's not a real game. It's just a, a pretty dumb ROM hack. I'm going to go ahead and put it in C. It works. It's better than, you know, it's more complete than Orange Island Adventures, but 
yeah, it, it does not need to be anything higher than a C. It, it's cock version, so yeah. Now, if you're a fan of black and white, we've got Unova Red here. This is honestly super cool. Originally, I was not even the biggest fan of black and white or the Unova region. I've, I've grown accustomed to it. I, I'm actually quite the fan of the black and white regions now. Uh, so this is a really cool, really cool hack. Again, just like these last three we've looked at where you're going through the same basic red. It's got some quality of life improvements, but the best thing is it adds the Unova decks. I'm pretty sure the whole Unova decks, maybe not everybody, but... Yeah, you're basically playing through the Kanto region with Unova starters and Unova Pokemon. Really, really cool. Uh, understandable that they had to use Imbor. It's Unova Red, but I, I'm not a fan of Imbor. I will die on that hill. Imbor is horrible. I hate it. But the other two are awesome. But I'm not here to talk about or complain about those. Just saying that Unova Red is pretty solid hack. Again, it's not getting giving you like new story content or anything like that but if you just want to play a classic adventure with new pokemon newish pokemon uh this is the hack for you it's really good now here we have another kaizo version i guess i probably have to put it with the other kaizo yeah crystal kaizo again there's nothing inherently wrong with these games but if you're looking for a hard very hard experience in my in my experience an extremely hard time <laughs> playing through a pokemon game i like a challenge but not that hard then blue kaizo or crystal kaizo would be for you i'll go ahead and put it a i like i, I kind of want to put these both in b but I'm, I'm not a hater so i just don't like to play these games that much but they are fun if you like a hard and challenging experience and just like Unova Red, I, I love it when games take new Pokemon sprites and put them into old Pokemon games or make them into old Pokemon games. So kind of like that, we've got Black and White 3 Genesis featuring a fully demade Unova region looking so good. I mean, Super Gold and Super Silver add some like biomes. And I mean, a lot of these games can, can add biomes that look great, but like just seeing the Unova region in the gold or sorry, in the crystal Gen 2 graphics, it it speaks to me. It sounds amazing. It looks amazing. It's it's perfect. The game itself, maybe not the most perfect game in the world. Uh, it's still S tier category in my opinion, just based off the looks alone. I'm not the biggest fan of Black and White too. If if I had one complaint, I wish this person would have just named this Pokemon Gray. Kept everything about it the same. Just named it Pokemon Gray. I just I, I'm not the biggest fan of of the two attached to, to black and white too. It's not my favorite thing. It should have just been gray. I feel shafted on that, but I'm not gonna judge it because of the name. It's obviously a fantastic game. That's why it's going in this S tier category. Check this out now. Check all of these games out now. But if you just want to be blown away by the way something looks, then check out Genesis. I mean, seriously, this is mind blowing. Now I'm sure we all wanted to play as Team Rocket at some point in our life, so we've got Pokemon Trey. Oh, B or C, what do we do? It, it's between one of these two. It's not perfect, but it's it's a Gen 1 experience to play as Pokemon, or sorry, to play as Team Rocket. It's it's neat. You don't get to catch Pokemon, and it it's very challenging. It's not impossible, probably not as hard as the Kaizo games, but it is very challenging. There's some some strange level curves, we'll say, we'll say that, but uh, definitely a fun game. I guess... It's complete, it works, I gotta give it B. I feel like C is just dumb stuff, gimmicks, and, and D is just broken. So I, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, Pokemon Trey a B. Speaking of B, we've got Pokemon Bronze. This is just a fantastic game. I gotta give it an A. I, maybe S? This is hard. This is genuinely hard. Uh, there's a sequel, I've not played the sequel. Maybe the sequel could be S tier. I feel like I maybe need to give this an A tier, but if, if you want a classic Gen 2 experience, like a, a, a I don't want to say a remix, but if you just want a genuine feeling, gen, a different Gen 2 experience from the Crystal games or Gen 2 games, this is the one for you. This feels like an actual Pokemon game. I, I can't really describe it. It just feels authentic. It's the most authentic feeling game besides maybe Super Gold and Super Silver because it was actual, you know, classic real authentic pokemon but this this is the next best bet in my opinion pokemon bronze is just mm, so good i want to give you s uh, i kind of give you s well, like, get you in the middle you get an a plus plus a plus plus yeah sorry a plus plus check out pokemon bronze you won't be disappointed okay so i i am noticing now i'm gonna have to do some reworking because we got pokemon pyrite up next i think i'm saying that right i feel like i'm gonna go ahead and drop the kaizos down a tier and then put Pyrite up here a little bit. I'll go ahead and do it like that a little bit. 
I personally feel like Pyrite, it, it, it is another Gen 2 kind of more challenging, hardened experience. I think it's a little bit better. Again, I don't know all of the differences between the two. When I first heard of Pyrite, I thought it was just a completely new game, but it's not. Upon actually researching it and playing it a little bit, it's one of those kind of better experienced crystals, you'd say. I still think Crystal Clear is the best. And, you know, if you want to challenge, obviously Kaizo is great. But I think Pyrite's just a little bit more authentic feeling when it comes to that. It just, it gives you those improvements that Crystal in the Gen 2 games just needed. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one an A tier. So last but not least, we've got Cramorant version. And this is, this is an odd one. It's a, it's a hack of Pokemon Yellow, and it, it's exactly what you think it would be. It's just replacing Pikachu with Cramorant. Uh, not actually played this one myself maybe just drop it in B for right now, but it does, of course, add some quality of life improvements. It's not just a straight rip of yellow, but it's got, you know, I think a couple added map areas, some trainers, things like that. I think there's a special mini game even with Cramorant, kind of like how Pikachu had the surfing Pikachu stuff. So it is a pretty neat hack. I, I want to give it A, but I feel like we need to give it a B. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. B, I want to stress that B, there's maybe nothing inherently wrong with it. So <laughs> Maybe I should <laughs> drop Trey down a little bit. I hate doing that, but it's probably true. Live adjustments. I apologize about that. But yeah, Cramorant's fun. I, I, I'll, I'll say I'll recommend playing it, even though I haven't played it. It's something I'm going to get around to eventually. Big fan of Pokemon Yellow. Odd choice. I, I don't really understand Cramorant. He's not my favorite Pokemon. He's a goofy Pokemon, and I don't know if maybe they just thought Pikachu was goofy too, so they wanted to pick Cramorant, but I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely a, an interesting game to say the least. Okay, a little bit of a bonus. I didn't originally have this in here, but I, I kind of wanted to include it anyway. It's not technically a ROM hack, but it kind of is. If you ever played a bootleg copy of Green version, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. I don't know that I've actually played a, a polished Green at all. Like with, without, I don't think I've played a Green version that doesn't have massive glitches on it. it it's insane. The one I've got, the one I picked up at a flea market, it's riddled with glitches. It playable 100%. Like, I can play it all the way and beat it. I've done it a few times, but just visually a little glitchy. Uh, I wonder if anybody else has played anything like that. I, I do wonder if there's a more polished one out there. Technically complete. I, I think I might throw it into C. I want to put it into D. D seems just a little empty, but I guess it's a good thing that there's nothing else in there. Uh, so, yeah, maybe, maybe C, maybe D. Yeah, we'll go ahead and drop it in D, just I said, to make things look look a little bit better. All right, so this is my personal tier list of the Pokemon Game Boy slash Game Boy Color ROM hacks. And, and you know, it, it doesn't have every single Pokemon ROM hack on there. There's just too many out there to have them all on here. I would, this video would be insanely long, and I also, I've not played them all. I've not even played all of the ones on this list, but I, at least I feel like I know enough about them to judge them loosely on this tier list. But definitely check out all of these ROM hacks. I'm slowly working my way through all of them and, and many more. I love the ROM hacking community. You guys are amazing for making these awesome games. So huge shout out to everybody who made all of these ROM hacks and all the other ones that weren't on this list. You guys are amazing. I, I wish I could do what you do. Keep doing it. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and leave a comment down below if you have anything that you maybe want me to make a video on. I'm open to suggestions. And also feel free to uh, let me know what you think of my tier list and maybe make one yourself. I'm curious to see what your guys' opinions are. But until next time, I'll see you all later.